Imagine a motor that doesn't just push the limits of speed, but rips the rule book apart. For decades, engineers told us that electric motors had an invisible ceiling. They could only spin so fast before physics itself pulled them apart. That ceiling defined how far EVs could go in both performance and reliability. But Tesla has now unveiled a design that appears to smash that barrier, and in doing so, it sent a shockwave across the auto industry. To competitors, it isn't just a new piece of technology, it's a warning, a declaration that Tesla intends not only to stay ahead, but to change the very game everyone else thought they were playing. And if history tells us anything about Elon Musk's company, it's this. When Tesla makes a move like this, the ripples spread much further than the showroom floor. The RPM wall and the carbon solution. The biggest weakness of traditional EV motors comes down to rotation. Spin a rotor too quickly, and the metal expands outward. Eventually, it warps, deforms, or breaks apart. For years, this meant motors couldn't reliably push past 15,000 or 16,000 revolutions per minute. That was the wall. Tesla's answer was as radical as it was simple. Carbon fiber. By wrapping the rotor in a carbon sleeve applied under enormous tension, the forces that would normally tear the motor apart are contained. The carbon holds everything in place, locking the geometry tight even when the motor screams at impossible speeds. Suddenly, what once failed at 16,000 RPM can push confidently past 20,000 RPM. It might sound like a small technical leap, but it's anything but. Higher RPM means greater torque, faster acceleration, and more freedom in how the drivetrain is geared. What looks like a material tweak is actually a leap in performance engineering. Faster than the roar, think of the cars people once called untouchable, Bugatti, Ferrari, Lamborghini. For decades, they defined speed. Their sound alone, the roar of a V12 or the scream of a turbo, was proof enough that nothing could touch them. Now enter a silent Tesla, a car with no exhaust, no cylinders firing, no smoke, and yet it launches from 0 to 60 in under 2 seconds. Independent testers confirm times just above 2, still firmly in hypercar territory. The Bugatti Chiron, costing several million dollars, sits at 2.3 seconds. The Lamborghini Aventador, similar numbers. The Tesla does it in near silence. No roar, no drama, just a violent surge that leaves your neck sore. It's the unsettling realization that silence can be scarier than noise. The message is clear. Speed no longer belongs exclusively to the machines of gasoline. Speed that repeats, but there's a hidden truth about performance. Doing it once is easy. Doing it over and over again is what breaks cars. Traditional EV motors heat up quickly at high RPM. The parts expand, friction builds, efficiency crumbles, and eventually the motor needs to cool before it can deliver again. The carbon-wrapped rotor solves this. By holding the motor together at those extreme forces, Tesla reduces internal stress, lowers waste heat, and cuts down on unnecessary cooling. The result? Performance that's repeatable. 10 launches in a row, not one. And that matters for real drivers. Nobody wants a car that's lightning fast for one drag race, but feel sluggish on the second attempt. Tesla's breakthrough isn't just about headline speed. It's about making that performance consistent, practical, and reliable. Efficiency, the secret ingredient. There's another benefit too, efficiency. In electric cars, every watt counts. The faster a motor spins under stress, the more energy it tends to waste. That's why fast cars usually come with the penalty of poor range. But Tesla's design minimizes waste. By keeping the rotor stable and reducing the need for massive cooling systems, the energy that would normally be lost as heat gets saved for driving. This means you don't have to choose between speed and range. For the first time, you can have both. It's this combination, speed plus range, that terrifies competitors. Because they've usually had to compromise. Supercars give you speed, but they guzzle fuel. Efficient EVs give you range, but lack excitement. Tesla is saying, why not both? The factory test, where ideas live or die. Of course, a clever motor design is just one step. The real battlefield is the factory floor. Elon Musk has said repeatedly that the machine that builds the machine is the true innovation. Tesla's giga casting process, where massive aluminum castings replace dozens of smaller welded parts, was supposed to revolutionize production and it has to an extent. But reports suggest even Tesla has had to rethink parts of this strategy. Casting entire sections of a car is bold, but perfection is hard when a microscopic flaw can ruin an entire piece. Then there are the 4680 battery cells. These larger format cells were promised as cheaper, denser, and more powerful. Tesla has produced them in the tens of millions, but the ramp hasn't been smooth. Industry whispers mention pauses, pivots, and adjustments. Some say the cells still don't hit their cost targets consistently. Why does this matter for the motor? Because without cheap, plentiful batteries, the motor is like a lion without food. A powerful design but with nothing to feed it. Tesla knows this. 
That's why solving battery cost and volume is just as critical as the rotor itself. Rivals aren't standing still. It's tempting to believe Tesla has already won the race. But look around and you'll see rivals playing their own games. Lucid Motors has built a reputation on efficiency. Their compact motors are marvels of engineering, squeezing extraordinary power density into small packages. Their luxury sedans boast ranges that challenge Tesla's longest legs. Rivian is a different story. Rugged pickups and SUVs, they face delays, cost overruns, and production challenges, but they keep moving forward. One quarter they disappoint, the next they surprise. That resilience keeps them in the fight. And then there's BYD in China. They don't focus on motors that wow engineers, they focus on price. Millions of affordable EVs roll off their lines every year, flooding the market in ways Tesla can't match. They may not out-tech Tesla, but they can outscale it in raw volume. Tesla's advantage is real, but the competition is not asleep. Each rival pushes on different fronts. Luxury, ruggedness, affordability. Together they force Tesla to keep running at full speed. The brain behind the brawn. The motor is the body, but the brain is just as important. Every Tesla on the road is a rolling data collection unit, feeding information back to the company's AI training systems. Every stop, turn, and lane change is recorded and used to refine Tesla's self-driving software. The Dojo project was Tesla's boldest bet here, a custom-built supercomputer designed to accelerate learning. At first, it was hyped as a revolution, but by late 2025, reports surfaced of shakeups and even a potential winding down of Dojo. Tesla seemed to be rethinking its strategy. Even so, the broader point remains. Tesla has a self-driving advantage because its AI trains on real-world miles, not just simulations. Competitors can test in labs, but Tesla learns from millions of daily commutes, and that's an edge that grows every single day. Investor shockwaves. Whenever Tesla unveils a breakthrough, Wall Street pays attention. The announcement of the carbon-wrapped rotor wasn't just an engineering story, it was a financial one. Analysts rushed to estimate what it meant for Tesla's margins, future models, and long-term market share. Some saw it as proof Tesla would dominate for another decade. Others warned it could be overhyped, a niche technology dressed up as a revolution. Rumors even surfaced about patents, exclusivity, and whether rivals could copy the design without running into legal walls. The truth is, investors don't care about the science itself. They care about whether this makes Tesla cheaper to build and harder to compete with. And on that front, the carbon-wrapped rotor is a powerful narrative, whether or not the numbers match the hype. Beyond supercars. Everyday impact. It's easy to get lost in the drama of hypercar comparisons. But the real question is this. Will this motor ever find its way into affordable Teslas? Imagine a Model 3 or Model Y using this tech. Suddenly, middle-class buyers could get supercar-like acceleration and extended range in a car they actually see on the road every day. That's the long game. Tesla doesn't just want to build halo cars for bragging rights, it wants to push advanced tech down market, just as it did with autopilot features and battery improvements. If the carbon-wrapped rotor trickles into mainstream models, the disruption won't just be felt by Lamborghini, it'll be felt by Toyota and Honda. Public perception and backlash. Of course, not everyone is convinced. Critics argue that the carbon-wrapped rotor is impressive but untested at scale. Questions swirl. Will it hold up after 200,000 miles? What happens if the carbon sleeve is damaged? Can Tesla service these motors cheaply, or will they be a nightmare for repairs? Skeptics also point to Tesla's history of ambitious claims that sometimes arrive later than promised. Full self-driving was supposed to be here years ago. The Roadster 2.0 was teased long ago, but remains elusive. Some wonder if the rotor story is another hype cycle designed to keep excitement alive. Tesla thrives on bold promises, but bold promises attract equally bold criticism. The future scenarios. So where does this leave us? Two possibilities stand out. In the first, Tesla nails the execution. The motor is mass-produced, the batteries come down in cost, and AI keeps improving. In this world, Tesla's lead widens dramatically. Rivals can't catch up because they're trapped trying to fix old factories and old strategies. In the second, cracks appear. Scaling issues slow battery production. AI hits a plateau. Competitors like ByYD and Lucid seize the chance to leap forward in their own ways. The gap narrows, and the story shifts from Tesla dominance to Tesla survival. Both scenarios are possible, and that uncertainty that tension is what makes this story fascinating. The carbon-wrapped rotor is not just a new motor. It's a symbol of Tesla's identity. Break the rules, build the impossible, and force the rest of the world to catch up. But in technology, nothing is permanent. Today's revolution can be tomorrow's standard. So the real question isn't whether Tesla's motor is special. It is. 
The question is whether Tesla can keep stacking innovation on top of innovation faster than rivals can close the gap. Because in the end, the future of cars won't be decided by who builds the fastest prototype. It'll be decided by who can build it millions of times over. And right now, Tesla is daring the world to prove they can even start. If you found this breakdown eye-opening, make sure to hit that like button. It helps more people see what's really happening in the EV world. And if you want to stay ahead of the next big twist in this industry, don't forget to subscribe. We've got plenty more stories coming that will change the way you look at cars forever.